and today I'm going to show you how to install an operating system, an ISO image, of a specific operating system in VirtualBox, which is a virtual machine hardware player thing. <laughs> now the operating system I'm going to show you is a cloud-based operating system. It's called Jolie Cloud OS. Now, what this it means when I say cloud operating system? Yes, you install it on your computer or in VirtualBox. But as you do stuff with it, if you want it to, it can automatically sync with an online account on their website. So if you forget a computer or something and you have internet access on any device, any device whatsoever, even tablets and smartphones, you can make changes to your operating system because you can view it online. So, first off, there's been some confusion on the website, so I'm going to show you what we have to do here to get this to run in VirtualBox. So, we'll go to J O L I C L O U D dot com. And from here, a lot of people think click desktop. No, click OS. Because OS is going to take you to the Julie Cloud experience for everyone for free, and it shows you the computer here. Now, there's two links, download and try online. If you want to at first, you can try it online, but to run it in VirtualBox, we'll download. Now, here's the main spot of confusion. We've got two options here. Keep Windows or just Jolly OS. Now, first off, I'm not running Windows, I'm running Mac. But even if you are running Windows, if you're trying to run it in VirtualBox, you have to click just Jolie OS. You, as long as you're planning on running it in VirtualBox or VMware Player or Fusion or whatever, you must click just Jolly OS. Here's the reason. If you click Keep Windows, the format is a Windows installer file, like an EXE. That's like a regular program you run in Windows. VirtualBox does not support those. They're not standard operating system formats. To get it to work with VirtualBox, you have to download an ISO. Now what an ISO is, is basically what you find on an operating system CD, like your Mac OS X CD or Windows 7 or whatever. So you click download Jolie OS ISO under just Jolly OS, Jolly OS, and it will download, um, actually mine should be in here, here it is, Jolly OS 1.2 ISO. So then once that's downloaded, you go to VirtualBox, or VMware Fusion, but this is VirtualBox, and you click in the top left the new button. It's a little blue circle. Now it brings up the new virtual machine wizard. This just says the virtual this will guide you through the steps of necessary creating a new virtual machine. You click continue. Here it's asking you to enter a name for it. I'll type jo Jolie Cloud OS. Now down at the bottom when you type in a name it tries to set the operating system to what is best used. For example, if I type to Windows 7, it would automatically set these to Windows 7. Now, Jolie Cloud is Linux. So that's good. Under version, this could be confusing for some people. I wasn't sure at first either. Go all the way to the bottom and click Other Linux. Okay? So the operating system is Linux. Version is Other Linux. It's not a standard version of Linux. So once you have that, click continue. I actually, just like, let me edit my name. 1.2. Then it's asking how much RAM do you want it to have? Um, the virtual machine. I recommend, and it depends on how much your computer has. If your computer has 2 gigabytes of RAM, which is pretty small these days, then at the most, you'll, you'll want to give the, well, you will want to give this one gig of RAM. Now notice this, notice this is in megabytes. So if your computer has two gigs of RAM, it has 2,000 megabytes. Meaning you want to give it 1,000 megabytes of RAM. What 
what I recommend doing is giving it half the RAM that your computer has. I have 8 gigs, 8,000 megabytes. So I'll give it 4,000 megabytes of RAM. Click continue. Now, virtual hard disk. Here, create new hard. Click create new hard disk. If you use existing, it'll ask you for other virtual machines you've already set up. We don't want that. Always click create new. Click continue. Here, um, was kind of confusing for a lot of people. I'll try to clear things up. If you don't plan on using this virtual machine outside of VirtualBox, you can just leave VDI, VirtualBox Disk Image. If you're planning on transferring this over to another virtual machine um, program like VMware, then you want to choose Virtual Machine Disk. The bottom two you shouldn't need to worry about at all. But I'll stick with the VirtualBox image. Next, it's asking whether you want the disk to be dynamically allocated when a virtual disk file will only use space on your physical hard drive as it fills up, or a fixed size where it may take longer to create on some computers but is often faster to use. Keep dynamically allocated. I mean, yeah, they say fixed may be faster to use. I haven't noticed a difference and it takes longer to create. Dynamically allocated works just fine, so leave that. Then it's asking us what we want the name of the creation the location it's going to create to be. We can leave that. Select the size of the hard drive, the virtual disk, in megabyte. It says in megabytes, we can type GB at the end for gigabytes. But I mean, 8 gigs isn't that big. Um, I'm not going to use this as a primary system. I'll do 16 gigabytes. Click continue. Click create. And click create again. Now, notice we never selected that ISO image we just downloaded. Well, you click start. And it brings up this first run wizard. Click continue. And it asks us select media which contains the setup program. There's a few options in here. We'll just keep host drive and click the button next to it. Now go and find your Julio OS ISO. Most likely it's in your downloads folder, but you it may have been saved somewhere else. Select it and click open. Now let's click continue and then start. Now I should start here and pull up the first time setup. Here it is. Now, yeah I'll show you the setup as well. I wasn't gonna, but we'll do it real quick. Is go hit, go push the down arrow and then hit enter. Since it won't let us, um, it's a one full screen. You won't let you use the mouse there, you had to use your arrow keys. But now it's preparing Jolie Cloud OS 1.2. Now notice it's pre-configuring the VirtualBox driver. So this has drivers out of the box for VirtualBox. Wow, I used the word box twice in a sentence. <laughs> the VirtualBox has drivers come that come out of the box for VirtualBox. Um, so it's configuring here. I hope I don't go over my... Um, 15 minute YouTube limit. Because, I mean, I can go longer, but QuickTime Player, which I'm recording with, doesn't let me go longer for YouTube. But, um, this installation is actually pretty seamless. Once it starts installing, I'm going to stop the recording. I'll just show you how to get it started. Because once it starts, it's a pretty much straightforward, which the entire install is. You just select your language from a list. It's already set to English. I'll click forward. Give it a minute. Don't rush it here. It's, um, here we go. Where are you? I am United States. I'm not New York. I was looking to this list. The closest place to me is Detroit, because I am in Michigan. I'm in Detroit, I guess. I'm not exactly in Detroit, but it's close to me. Now, as far as a keyboard, it's automatically suggesting to use United States, which is correct, so I'll just leave that. 
I can type in his backs down here to test it. It works just fine. Click forward. Next, prepare disk space. Since we're using a hard disk we created through VirtualBox, we'll click erase and it's our only disk. <laughs> so we'll erase that. Now what's your name? I didn't want to use login. That's fine. Use a password. And retype. Um, yeah, Elliot Julie Cloud is fine. I want to let me. Do my passwords not match? Yeah, I know it's a weak password, but whatever. Um, language English. Okay, we'll just click install. Now here's where I'm going to leave you guys, because all it does is go to this bar, and then say installation is complete, click the restart button to restart your computer. If for some reason, if, when you click restart, it doesn't shut all the way down, and it just sits in the middle of a giant DOS window, text window thingy, um, which it did for me the first time, which is weird. Just go to your virtual machine options here at the bottom. Click machine and close or hit command Q. And it will shut down the machine. And then you just restart it and it'll work just fine. Well, it appears I'm out of time, my friends, so I gotta go. But, um, I only have a couple minutes. You know what I'll do? I'll go to this install, um, if I have time. If I don't, then I'll quit it anyways. But let's talk a bit about Jelly OS here. On their website, um, home. Alright. Basically, they're also coming out with a Jelly Cloud Me, which is actually out. You can get Jelly Cloud on any device. Including tablets, smartphones, Android, iPhone, iPad, yeah. <laughs> um, but here we go. Uh, your digital life is unique. By connecting to the apps and service you already use and love, Jolly Cloud automatically streams on those things. Okay, yeah, yeah. Jolly Cloud basically, like, I already have an operating system set up here. So if I go to desktop, And click sign up for free. I'm already logged in. Here we are. This is now. Um, I've run this before, so it still has my stuff programmed in. But this is what my operating system looked like when I ran it last time. Um, I deleted it for the purpose of this video so I could redo it. But whenever I make a change here, it will show up on the operating system. If I make a change in the operating system, it will show up here. So if I need to make a quick change to something like Microsoft Word, I can just quickly do that online. Now notice the browser is disabled. The Chromium browser, Chromium, whatever you say. It's the open source version of Google Chrome. It's disabled because I'm in a browser already. <laughs> um. But, you can even add software in the software center from here. So, yeah, I don't think the install is going to finish in time, as it gets stuck at 79% for a few minutes. But, guys, I will see you in the next video while I'll be doing a review on this. I hope this install helped. I hope you got a little info out of this. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.